In this video, I wanted to do something new. I wanted to help those who are just starting out on Redbubble or maybe not getting a lot of sales on Redbubble. I'm gonna show you what I would do as a new Redbubble seller. I'm gonna find a niche, niche down, uh, find that topic and get a design for that on Canva and then upload it. I'll show you the titles and tags I'm gonna use. So lots to see in this video. You don't wanna miss this. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. Thanks so much for joining me on this video. In this video, it's kind of ambitious. I'm gonna try and do from beginning to end on Redbubble what I would do as a seller. So we're gonna go on Redbubble, find a niche, um, design that niche, find a design for that niche, upload it, titles, tags, everything. So what you're gonna need is Redbubble first. So if you're on Redbubble, that's great. Uh, if you're not on Redbubble, go and sign up for Redbubble. It's absolutely free. Uh, sign up as a seller and then you can follow along. And the other thing you're gonna need for this video is Canva. I will be going into Canva. Um, I'm gonna be using the pro account, some pro stuff, but you don't have to use the pro stuff. You can use some of the free stuff, but it's just, I have the pro account. So you don't have to buy Canva. You can do all of these things for free. It's free to sign up for Redbubble, also free to use Canva. So let's get into it. Lots to see in this video. I'm gonna to go to Redbubble first and show you how I would niche down and find a good thing, a good topic to design for. All right, so here we are on Redbubble. This is my explore page. So once you're signed up, you can see I'm, I have my account here. You're gonna see an explore page. And I don't know about you, but on my explore page, there's a lot of drawings, right? There's a lot of artwork. And I think that's typical for uh, Redbubble is you're gonna see a lot of artwork. So artwork is important. So for picking a niche, this is one tip, is to pick a niche uh, or a topic that you could do a design for, do artwork for. So that's gonna be very important. Uh, we're gonna start really big and then niche down. So one thing you can see here, a lot of them, are animals or food. I'm gonna pick animals. Music is a good one too, um, but just pick a big niche that you're comfortable with, that you, you like. So I'm gonna do animals first. And when you type it in, you can see animals stickers come up first because red bubbles do stickers mostly, and then t-shirts and then phone cases. So these are kind of the products that they are known for. So I'm gonna pick stickers first. You can also see this one right here, tiny animals is trending. So you know animals is kind of a big deal. Um, we're gonna do animals here. And what you see when you get here, and this is another tip, is these are all the animals that Redbubble says uh, is popular. So if we look through here, you can see any one of these. So pick any one of these that you want. I'm gonna pick one as an example, but any one of these will be good. You can do the same technique that I'm gonna to do to niche down. So animals, too big, you can see three million, right? So we're gonna to wanna to niche down into animals. Uh, and then let's do, uh, let's do panda. I love pandas, black and white pandas. So you can see lots of pandas, really cool. So we have both red pandas and black and white pandas here. So if we wanna niche down, you notice, Red pandas aren't as um, popular, or at least under pandas. So this one has 127,000, still really big. We wanna niche down even more. And the way to do that is to pick one of these again. So we're still pretty big. Redbubble is suggesting maybe you wanna use one of these tags. So uh, let's uh, do red panda. So now it's 22,000. You can see a lot lower from the 3 million. We went down to 100 something thousand, now 22,000. We could go even further down. So there's still lots of tags here. Um, these are all the pandas. This is great. Um, we're gonna do kawaii red panda since I love kawaii. If you love a different style, you can pick something else. Um, again, this is just a test to niche down. There's, you saw there's so many branches of ways to go here. So I'm gonna go Kawaii Panda, now 7,000 stickers, right? So if I put this here and type in or put in my titles, Kawaii Red Panda, we're gonna do this later, uh, and I show up here on these results, I have a better chance of selling here than I do in the big animals or the big panda uh, topic, right? So I can niche down a still kind of high 7,000 and I can go down even more, but the next thing I wanna do is think of what to do to make this different. So instead of just putting a red panda on there, a kawaii red panda, I want it to be doing something. You see, I want it to be mashed up with something. So this one is 
doing uh, video games. That's really good. This one's mashed up with a sloth. Pretty cool. This one's eating ramen. And you can see another one eating ramen, holding a heart. So doing some things where, you know, this could be used for Valentine's Day or this could be used with a uh, panda and red panda, right? So both, and, it, and it's cute, of course, too. So uh, stickers, and you can see lots of different ways to do that. So we're going to do one with uh, doing something. We're going to look for a panda in Canva, and then uh, I'll show you how to kind of mash those two together. We don't want to, if we, if you can't draw this, Canva is a great way to do it. I would suggest that you draw though. If you have the talent of doing your own illustration uh, or drawing, that way it can be original and nobody's going to um, have the same things as yours. You can add some other things on here very easily if you know how to draw and then it will be in your own style too. So that, that's really important. So things like this where people have drawn it, I think do really well, right? Because it, it, you can see different styles and things. So, but I'm going to show you how I would do it if I was a new seller that didn't know how to draw. Let's go into Canva right now and I'll show you how to kind of mash things together and make something that would work for Redbubble in this situation. All right, so here I am on Canva, canva.com. You can see right here, uh, this is free to use. So there's some certain parts in here that are free. I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm going to use, which may be pro, but don't worry, you can do something different. I'm just going to show you how to use it and what kinds of things to look for when you're designing on Canva. So uh, come on here, create a design, good custom size, 4,500 by 5,400. You can actually make it bigger if you want to put it on bigger things on Redbubble, uh, like shower curtains and duvet covers and things like that. But because this is just for stickers and, and t-shirts, I think this will be fine. So if you don't have this preset, type in 4,500 by 5,400 here, and it's going to pull up this artboard. So first thing first, we're going to look for a red panda under elements. And let's do red panda very easy like that. And we're going to graphics. So click on graphics and you can see there's a bunch of them that are not, um, Pro. So these are free. This one is a free red panda. This one is a free red panda, right? Uh, you can see the ones that do have pro are the ones that I'm going to use. I like this one. Um, let's do this one. It's pro right here. Now this alone, you cannot use on, on Redbubble. You can't just take this artwork and put it on Redbubble. You're going to have to add to it. So I'm going to look for something that it would do. I'm going to mash it up with something. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do coffee. So I'm going to type in coffee here. You can do anything. You can put video games like we saw. We saw ramen. We saw whatever, right? But uh, coffee is a huge, another huge uh, niche that we can use, another huge topic on Redbubble. So if I mash those two together, if anybody's looking for coffee and Red Panda, um, then we have something, right? So let's do coffee. And again, um, this one is free right here. So I showed you a lot of free. What you're going to want to do is find things that match. So you can see this one doesn't have a dark black outline. So the styles need to match. I could put this here, but then it looks like it's mismatched, right? So what I want to look for when I'm mashing things together on Canva is the same kind of style. Now it's all, not always going to be exactly the same style, but we can get pretty close. So let's not use this one. Um, let's scroll down and see what we can do here. So this one does have a black outline. You see that? So, um, and we can kind of match that dark outline too. So if we did this and because I can color it, I can come in here, add new color, use this, and then click on the same color here, right? So it's the same color. And I could just put this guy, um, in his hand like this. I want to kind of keep it the same width. So if I make it too small, let me show you. If I make this cup too small, you can see the width uh, of that black outline is not the same. So I want to make it big enough that it's about the same width. You see that what I'm talking about? So now this kind of looks like it could be um, related, right? So let me see what else that they have in magic recommendations. Yeah, so they have a bunch of cool stuff here. And this is not free. This is pro, but again, you can look for free stuff. Uh, that one's kind of cool, but I think this one will work. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is maybe do more with like text and stuff. One thing that you can do 
with Canva is, if you didn't know, there are already t-shirt designs here on Canva. So I'm gonna go to design and I'm gonna do coffee design. Coffee t-shirt design. Boom. And you can see there's a whole bunch of them right here that you can use as a starting point. So I'm gonna copy this or I'm gonna make a new page here and I'm gonna look for something that I could use with the one that I just did. Maybe put it over the top or something. So I scrolled down a bunch and I found this one. I think this will do really well. So I'm gonna replace this person here with it and don't need this. Uh, let me use this guy here. I'm gonna copy these two, group them. I'm gonna copy Command C and come down here and Command V. Uh, you can see it's just a little too big, so I'm gonna scroll it. And this uh, we can adjust. So let's come in here, uh, effects, it's kind of touching it, so I'm gonna make it a little bigger. There we go, I think that works. And then this right here could be bigger, just to match. And maybe, maybe like that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, we'll move this out now. Maybe we don't need these words. That's, it doesn't make sense with these words. I'm gonna take the beans, put it here. So you can see I'm changing it up quite a bit. So it's not exactly like the t-shirt that we saw. It's my own thing. Great, there we go. And then let's make sure that it fits the whole space. So now I can grab the whole thing and just make it bigger. There we go. And that would make a great sticker. If I wanna put this on a t-shirt on black, I could do the same thing. I'm gonna duplicate this, change the background to something dark first. Uh, then I can change these letters to white. And maybe I'll change those beans to a different color too. That's white. Uh, maybe these beans to like a, a color there. And then this could be black. And right there, I have a, a cool t-shirt too, so, um, or a sticker with a black outline. So this one I think will do a great sticker, uh, and then this will be the uh, same. So uh, I kind of want, I like how it breaks the border here. So one more thing I would do, I'm gonna lift this up and kind of break the border here. That just makes it stand out a little bit better. All right, so now that we have this, all we have to do is hit share and hit download and we're gonna do transparent background. Hopefully you have, if you have Canva Pro, uh, you can do the transparent background. If you don't have Canva Pro and you need to knock out the background, you can see my tutorial for doing that with Photo P, download it, and then just delete the white background here, which is really easy in this case because it's it's not so hard. But uh, one, one benefit of having Pro is to have the transparent background. I'm gonna do that, hit download. Um, make sure you pick the right one. I'm gonna pick page two right here. Uh, you could do both, page two and page three. Um, and let's do that. So let's go into Redbubble and I'll show you how to upload this and what kind of title and tags to use. All right, we're back on Redbubble. I'll show you how easy it is to do this. We're gonna go click on your profile or your account, hit add new work. Uh, and then you're just gonna drag in that design that you downloaded from Canva. So let me go find that. So it should have gone to your downloads folder. Uh, just click on it and drag it in. You can see here, I forgot to title mine. So mine says untitled design, but go here. It's gonna take a little while to load up. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a title. So let's go back to the Kawaii Redbubble um, Panda thing. So here it is. This is what we saw in the beginning. You can see Kawaii Red Panda stickers, and I have a bunch of these things here, right? So in this case, we're gonna do uh, use the same thing, kawaii, red panda, not stickers. So we're gonna do that first, because that's the keyword that we started with. And then of course, um, it says coffee attic, and then there's a coffee thing, so let's do coffee attic. 
And then you're going to want to make sure you, that you describe things in here or maybe use some of the other tags that are on here. So uh, let's do this. We could do cute and cuddly. We could do um, other things. We could do this red panda as well. So we're using some other tags in here uh, or panda art. So let's see how we can incorporate all of those. So I'm going to do uh, red panda art. What else do we see? Uh, cute and cuddly. Oh, okay. So maybe cute and cuddly red panda art. So that's enough. It's pretty long here. And then for tags, we're going to use the similar thing. So we'll make sure we put all these tags and then um, go back to red panda as well. So let's go back one and do all of these tags. Well, at least the ones that make sense, right? So cute red panda. Uh, it's not a baby panda, but we could do panda, panda lover, kawaii red panda. So let's do that for now. Cute red panda, kawaii red panda, and so on. So we can put, I, I think, up to 20. So panda lovers, adorable panda. So a, a bunch of them. So Redbubble is telling you what tags to put in here, right? So as long as it fits, like we're not, we didn't do a Kung Fu Panda, so don't put that in. Uh, it's not a panda and bear, so do that. So Red Panda Art, um, Funny Panda, let's do that. And I'm not going to put all of them in just for the time sake of this video, but you're going to put 20 of those. So look on here and do the same thing for Coffee Addict, right? So now that we have Coffee Addict, is there anything that comes up? No, but we should put Coffee Addict in there. We could do Coffee and look at all of these right here. So we could do Coffee Lover. That makes sense, right? So let's put in Coffee Addict. Coffee lover. So you get what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do tags that relate to this design, right? And then in the description, really all you are describing is what it is. So uh, I'm going to put this is a red panda. Uh, maybe this is an illustration of a cute uh, kawaii red panda drinking coffee um, perfect for that whoops I can't spell coffee addict that loves and then we can use some of these same things in here uh, cute and cuddly red panda art right? It, something like that. So we want to use some of the keywords in our description, but also describing uh, the style and what it is on here. So let's come in here. Uh, other than that, we can pick a background now for, for some of these things if we want to pick a background, but I think it would be great um, just by itself. So let's just leave the background white. We can see this on different colors. I'll make sure that it's up here by the chest. So you can see right there's the chest that's kind of the middle. That'd be great. Same thing for this one. This looks too low. If you're a t-shirt, uh, make sure that it's centered as well. Um, this could fit on here. You don't have to put it on everything, but if you are going to put it on, on this, make sure um, that it fits, right? That nothing's cut off. So, hey, that kind of works. Okay. Um, the, the thing that we really want to do is stickers. So come in here, click on it. It looks great with the white outline here. I got my um, panda and coffee, great. So I don't need to make any changes. I can just close that. And, but the, this one I need to make sure that fits. So go in and put it on everything that you think um, will work and make sure that it w works good on the product too. So sometimes this doesn't match this, right? This is the whole space, but you wanna make sure that up here on the actual product, that it looks like it fits. All right. So we're going to go all the way through this. Uh, I'm not going to put it on everything, but you're going to go here and make sure that it 
works on things that you want it to. You, again, you don't have to put it on everything. As long as you put it on t-shirts and stickers, I think those are the main things. But otherwise, look through here and see if it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, like maybe you don't want it on a jigsaw puzzle, disable that. If you don't want it on a um, phone wallet, I mean, this one actually works, but it, I don't think it works on a skirt. So I'm gonna turn that off and so on. So whatever you wanna do, you can do that. And then come in here, media. This is a um, actual design illustration. Uh, it's not painting, uh, could be a drawing, but you didn't draw it, I didn't draw it. Um, and so it's digital art, I'm gonna pick those two. And then these are your collections that you made. So I have a bunch of these that I've made. Uh, it is Kawaii Art, right? So we tagged it that. And it can be whatever collection that you made. So as you start, you won't have any collections here, but you can add more and more collections um, as you add more, more products and stuff. I would recommend you do, uh, if it's perfect for a sticker, then I would do sticker. If it's more related to a t-shirt, then I would do a t-shirt. I really wanna get into the sticker thing because we saw that stickers was number one. So I'm gonna do sticker here. So every time, what this means is every time this shows up in search or on your shop, it's gonna show up as a sticker of that product. Uh, you could do it as default, which means optimize, which means it can change randomly. And sometimes it doesn't look great on some of the other ones. And so that's why I pick sticker, but you can do whichever one you want. Is this mature content? No. And do I have the right for this? I say yes, because we, we mixed it up in Canva. So that's it. Save your work and it's gonna upload your work. I didn't save it on all the different products, but you're gonna see, um, it's gonna show you what it looks like on the product so you can come back and, and see, oops, maybe I, I should have optimized it better for that product. So, so if you didn't, you can see this one, oh, I should go back and edit. I can go back here and edit and fix that one. Oh, this thing got cut off, I can fix that one. But on t-shirts, um, active t-shirts is only black, so that uh, doesn't work. Uh, yeah, I would probably take it off of that one, but on t-shirt it looks great. And uh, stickers, of course, and some of these other things, right? And then if you wanna share it, there's an easy way to share once you've done your thing. You can say, go here, if you have any of these things, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, I'm gonna share it on Twitter. And you can see it automatically writes stuff for me on Twitter, but I can change that if I want to. Uh, look what I just made on Twitter. I mean, on Redbubble. Okay, and then it has that picture right here so people can click on it. And when they click on it, they'll go to your sticker. So I'm gonna just hit tweet so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna to go to my profile and you can see it looks just like this. So you can do that too very easily. I would suggest you do that if you have one of these social media accounts. And there you go, from start to finish, um, we found the niche and we niched down, we got a design uh, and we posted it, very cool. So there you go, that's the whole thing on how to find a niche on Redbubble, how to design it, how to upload it, the tags, titles and everything. So hopefully this video is really helpful for you to. Uh, help you with your Redbubble sales. If you want more ways uh, to see how to get more sales on Redbubble, click on this right here, how to increase your views on Redbubble. That video is really good as well. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.